Now we will see a few theorems and properties of Laplace transform. Again, we will not discuss proof for this properties or theorems. We will just state and we will see how we can use that in the circuit analysis. So, first one is time shifting property. So, time shifting property means if f of t u t its Laplace transform is f of s then f of t minus a and u of t minus a shift in the time domain. So, that will be equal to e power minus a s into f of s. So, in the complex frequency domain it will be multiplied by e power minus a s this time shifting property. Again, any of this proof you want, you just refer the textbook that is Engineering Circuit Analysis by William Haidt, H-A-Y-T, William Haidt, okay. So, that textbook you refer, everything is given there or if you refer any mathematical textbook also, you will find that, okay. Next one is frequency shifting. So, if you multiply in time domain by e power minus a t, it in the complex frequency domain it will be f of s plus a so frequency shifting you can observe here okay then two theorems they are helpful that is one is initial value theorem so that means f of t is given and it's f laplace transform is f of s and it is and its inverse transform is f of t and the, that's why it is uh, shown like this it is shown like this this means f of there exists Laplace transform for f of t and it's also inverse Laplace transform also exists. Then and also condition is if f of t and f dash of t both are Laplace transformable both are Laplace transformable then f of 0 plus the initial value of the function you want to calculate that you can do if you know the Laplace transform multiply it by s and limit s tending to infinity. You know the Laplace transform of f of t, write that f of s multiplied by s and limit s tending to infinity is nothing but f of 0 plus. Okay. And one more theorem that is final value theorem, there f of t and f of s they are Laplace transform pairs, then f of infinity is limit s same this one s f of s but s tending to 0. But the same condition applies here f of t and f dash of t are Laplace transformable and s f of s one more condition is there here must have all the poles on left half of s plane that means if you write s f of s the roots of the denominator whatever you find that must lie on the left half of s of s plane. What do you mean by s plane x axis if you write sigma y axis j omega then what you get s yes, that you plot on this for example 2 plus 3j so here sigma is 2 j omega is 3j there okay omega is 3 so that if you get if you plot that that whatever roots you have that all must lie on the left half plane left half side of the s yes plane so then only you can use this formula so what is that formula final value i want to know what is the final value that is nothing but s into f of s and you have to limit s tending to zero okay so next one is representation of r resistor inductor and capacitor in s domain okay so we solved two problems circuit analysis problems and we solved it using Laplace transform there what we did first we wrote time domain expression that is the um, differential equation we wrote that is in time domain then we took Laplace transform of on both sides left hand side and right hand side and then we solve for either i of s or v of s then we took inverse Laplace transform now what we want to do is instead of writing first in the time domain equation in the time domain then taking taking the Laplace transform so that method we will avoid what we will do is looking at the circuit directly we will write equations in s domain so that is what we are going to study here so first we will see resistor and remember in s domain we will call this we will see that we will call instead of resistance we will call impedance okay so again um, 
the inductor which offers a again it's an impedance the resistance or it's a reactance we will call impedance okay it's a general word impedance it can be due to resistance it can be due to inductor or it can be due to capacitor so impedance is the common word we use in s domain okay so first we will discuss resistor okay resistor so if you take i is the current flowing through this v is the voltage across this r is the resistance value so if you write the equation here v of t is equal to r into i of t and if you take laplace transform on both side so then it is v of s equal to r into i of s okay and z of s that is what the impedance or we will call we can the unit is ohm only that will be equal to v of s by i of s it is essentially resistance only but in frequency so in the complex frequency domain so it is v of s and i of s and what we note down that the representation of representation of resistor resistor is same is same in both domain you can see here here also the r will not change the same r will remain here also in time domain also we have r so resistance will not change in time domain also it's it is r and in uh, frequent uh, complex frequent domain also it is r only it is same in both both time and frequency domain time and frequency domain frequency domain so we can easily uh, operate on resistance in s domain also there is no change required directly we can use okay, that is about the resistor next one we will see inductor inductor okay so inductor first we will represent and current flowing through this is i of t and voltage across this is v of t and inductance l so if you write the expression for this v of t we know that it is l into di by dt and if you take laplace transform but which theorem you have to use time differentiation theorem you have to use refer that time differentiation so that if you use v of s directly you can use that formula that is s into i of s laplace transform of i minus i of 0 minus this is from the formula if you have doubt you refer that video uh, where we discussed time differentiation it's laplace transform okay it is s into i of s minus i of 0 minus so if you open the bracket it will be s into l i of s minus l into i of 0 minus this is nothing but v of s so now we observed here in the resistance case the r will r not changed actually vs by is is nothing but r but here we have this we have this instead of l we have now sl we have and we have one more this is something to do with the initial condition so initial condition value that also we have to consider for inductor so this one if you represent in frequency domain it will be now what is this one this is a voltage source if you apply kvl here first will be inductance its value is just see here not l now it is sl it's sl and you have one voltage source and voltage across these two component that is v of s see don't get confused here it is not simply voltage across inductance it is the voltage across these two components one is inductor another one is voltage source that voltage source value is minus l of i of zero minus so this is how you represent if you find a circuit like this in time domain in frequency domain equivalent circuit will be this why we are writing in the frequency domain like this so that we can 
easily solve here using algebraic method we can easily solve for v of s or i of s so this is how we represent in the frequency domain and similarly this one we can represent in another way that is if you rearrange this one if you rearrange this this will be um, this will be i of s v of s plus l of i of 0 minus you will take this side then v of s plus l of i 0 minus divided by s l so this is nothing but we will split here now v of s divided by s l plus l l if it will be 1 so i of 0 minus divided by s so same thing using kvl we can represent this equation can be represented like this from kcl this is because current it is so from kcl we can represent same this thing what is that you have a current i of s two branches are there and two branches and voltage across that is v of s and one is v of s that is the current flowing through in the one branch is v of s by an impedance that is sl that we know that is inductance sl it's an impedance s l and other other one that is i of 0 minus okay so i of 0 minus i of 0 minus what should be the arrow mark now arrow mark should be this one so arrow mark should be positive because it is i of 0 minus is positive it is uh, in the direction of i s only so i have to write this is and magnitude of that is i of 0 minus divided by s yes. so you can either represent like this a voltage source in series or you can represent a current source in parallel it is a source transformation also you can use here okay so i of s which one you have to consider that depends on the for problem the given problem it may be easy if you represent in series or it may be easy if you represent in parallel that depends on the problem okay this is how represent in the in, uh, inductor in the frequency domain next one we will see capacitor capacitor so capacitor what is the equation capacitor current expression that is i is equal to c dv by dt so we will take a capacitor current passing through is this i and voltage across this is v and capacitance is c so if you take the laplace transform again use time differentiation property that is i of s equal to c into s v of s minus v of 0 minus open the bracket i of s that will be equal to c s v of s minus c v of 0 minus so now what we have to do is this is nothing but a current expression that is you can consider this as it as a kcl expression you draw equivalent circuit for this so it is nothing but a current you have two branches one branch and two branch here and voltage across that is v of s and current flowing through that is i of s now one branch current you can see it is cs into vs it is admittance it is the reciprocal of impedance into v of s that is nothing but the current you are getting so this part is admittance or it is a reciprocal of impedance okay so that if you write here that is the capacitance and its impedance i want to write i will write like this 
if you want to write admittance then you simply write cs okay now it i am writing impedance and minus sign is there just see here one more current sign is minus so minus sign means it should be upward and magnitude of that will be c of v0 minus okay same this thing if you rearrange rearrange this one so this will be s yes, um, c v of s equal to i of s plus c v of 0 minus and again v of s if you need expression then i of s divided by s c capacitance and s plus and v of 0 minus divided by s okay so this one if you represent same this thing it is a voltage equ kvl equation so this will be you have one is i of s i into impedance that is voltage so impedance we have to write so that is one by s c and current flowing through this is i of s and next one is the voltage source voltage source sign you just see it is plus v zero minus and it is v of zero minus by s and voltage is across these two it is not simply voltage across capacitor it is voltage across these two together is nothing but v of s this is how we represent capacitor inductor and resistor in the s domain next what we will do is we will take the circuit and we will directly write its frequency domain equivalent circuit and from there using algebraic technique we will follow for either i of s or v of s then you take the inverse laplace transform to get the i of t or v of t okay